Composition Using Beer Cans by Doris Charest. Now, here's a different kind of beer can. It's called Glutenberg, and I love the design. So the design goes from one side to another at an angle, and we're going to see how you can use that in your own compositions. So see how it starts lower and then goes higher at an angle. And at the same time, so does the design. So use that idea in your paintings. For example, if you look at the background painting, it's actually a sketch. You have an angle that leads to the main point, the center of interest. Having an angle creates a dynamic that people love. Here you have a road that leads to the focal point. And again, an angle that gives it a little more dynamics. Here's a complete angle with a focal point at one side. Notice that it's one third of the way up. These are great ways to have your paintings more interesting. Now on this one, see there's a road and a line right there that leads to the focal point. So make sure that you get that same concept in your paintings as is seen in this Glutenberg beer. So here's a, a river that leads to the focal point and you have little details around, similar to the beer can but not so complex. So a road or a hill that leads and a line that leads to the focal point. So the line leads the eye around the beer can. Here it leads the eye to the focal point. These lines, just like in the beer can, lead to the focal point. So there's a line that leads our eye. Just as the line makes us read the Glutenberg beer, here it makes our eye go towards the focal point. Again, same thing. Dark line leads to the focal point. Light line leads to the focal point. So you can see that concept used by the beer manufacturer can be used in our paintings. Even if you took this abstract, see how there's this lighter color that leads and creates almost an X. And it leads to that dark spot that's the focal point. And in this one, light areas against dark areas that lead our eye into the focal point. So the idea of leading your eye to the central focal point is the concept we take away from this gluten beer. It's got a great design that leads our eye to read the label really nicely and all the other information doesn't detract from it. And that's what we want in our paintings. So that's it for now. And we'll see you in the next composition exercise.